I should have started recording before I got to this, but I finally got the launcher. Uh, I had the, the regular Windows install, or the, like, I, I went to my Bethesda account and downloaded the installer. Oh, <laughs> oh this is fun. Um... Alright, finished installing. Let's see what happens. <gasps> okay. So far. The game is working. It's still classified as install ESO, so I'm assuming I would need to change that to the launcher. But since this is the same emulation from Proton, the essence. Oh, I don't know what E is. Because none of it's mapped. Let's just accept North America. Accept. United States. I've got my characters. They transferred over. That's great. Um. Yes, I know it's 2022, and I'm not even level 50 yet. I casually play, but now that I have this on handheld, I can probably spend a lot more time going through. So, oh, that was not good. Well, yes, I'm just going to die. That's fine. I need to change the buttons. So that the start button is escape for now. Yes, I died. So I am going to go to a way shrine. Oh, I have. <sighs> Settings. I believe gameplay is where we can find the controller. Gamepad. Ah. <gasps> oh my gosh, it works! Controller support works. Thank you, person that uh, helped me. So, sprint works. Seems to be running great. Uh, so, uh, let's get. Oh, wait. That's, that's what I wanted to begin with. Let's see performance level. 
Looks like I'm getting some frame dips, but I don't think I have... I have the frame limit. Okay. So that means... I press start. The buttons are working. This is nice. Uh, video right now it's on windowed full screen. Show my settings as of now. It's not too bad. All right, so I got Elder Scrolls Online to work and with the Steam controls without. I haven't done any of the um, the controller setup. I literally chose the defaults or one of the defaults gamepad with mouse trackpad. Um, yeah, so that's all I used. And then once I got in here, changed it in the gameplay to controller. Okay, so this works. I'm good. Elder Scrolls Online on the Steam Deck uh, with the launcher. Alright, so I'm switching to desktop mode. And then we need to open up Steam. And I'm assuming... I need to take this off because I don't need to install it anymore. But if I come up here, add non Steam game. Oops, it's not the one that I wanted to grab. I don't see it there. Um, shared applications. What if we? Whoops, not var. Or would it be var? Alright, so in the root FS folder, I just searched launcher, and this one's got some Elder Scrolls symbols, and um, I'm assuming it'd be this one. So I don't know if there's a way. Copy location. Oh crap, what was the numbers on? Oh, I know, I know. 385885. That must be this one here. PF. Hey, created the drive C. That's actually kind of funny. That's probably why I showed the C drive when I was looking at it. So drive C, and it's got a C drive with program files. That, that, that's cute. Oh, launcher. Um, maybe that's not what it was. Oh, it is a launcher. I was not on all files. Uh, BethesdaFile.net, open. And that's added. So now, go down here and make sure properties, compatibility, make sure Proton is on. And now let's test it. Launching. What? Oh. Hey, hey! It's loading. This is very impressive.
Uh, I couldn't actually find a video on how to do this. Um, now that I have this added, the play button hasn't showed up yet. There we go. Okay. So we got that working. Now, in order to do this, just like what I did uh, with Steam itself, uh, or what I did before was to add uh, the program by going to, um, I believe it was my home deck, and then downloads, because that's where my ESO installer was. Files, install ESO, and select the programs, and then I made sure the same thing that it had the compatibility. I use Proton Experimental. I'm not sure if other ones are more compatible. I don't. I'm not going to go reinstall it. What I do want to do is show you a potential glitch that's going to happen. Actually, no, wait, can't do it in this because I figured out I, I couldn't get it to work in this. So once you get it added to Steam through the desktop mode, you go back to gaming mode. But you're going to start the install ESO. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a minor glitch. It's going to go to a black screen after this, if you don't do anything. Around this area of the screen is going to pop up a button. You may have to do it a couple times. It took me uh, two times to get it right. Um, at least for me, it went to a black screen. Yeah. So there was an OK button, and in order to continue, you have to press that before it goes to this black screen. So now let's restart. And I couldn't just touch it while it was black screen. It looks like the interactivity goes away. Yeah, I think it's wrong right here. It's like almost directly below the percentage. And then if you click it just right, aha! Now that you click the button, it loads into the launcher. Um, you just have to make sure to press the OK button now. You have, you have to be careful. If you select the language uh, button first, uh, it might switch it to a different language as you do that. Uh, so as you go through the installer, oh, it already went through this part. I'm getting ahead of myself because this is where I got it to work and then finally started recording. So I'm just going to exit this. I don't need it anymore. So now, Bethesda Net Launcher. And this show, should load us right into the launcher and then be able to launch the game. This is... I'm surprised. I'm, I'm just happy. Um, and honestly, being able to figure it out, um, I just kind of followed other ways of installing, uh, like, launchers. And uh, I'm assuming the reason why no one tried this is because everyone's... Well, not everyone. A lot of people have probably purchased the Steam version of it because the Steam version of it has it all native uh, in networks. I've, I've seen I've seen videos on that. I wanted to do a video on the non-Steam version so that people can still play it. Uh, I didn't pick my controller. Uh, what I would do is while it's installing, um, set up a controller settings for the Elder Scrolls. Um, I'm not going to actually log in and get ready, but uh, 